Hello guys, this is Death People 6 doing a Total War commentary on Shogun 2 at Total War Center fan group. Um, and let me just choose a quick random battle replay for you. Um, I'll do that one, number 5. <laughs> Alright, so I'm playing as Hattori Hanzo, which is a, one of my favorite um, guys from China, in Japan even, from the Ninja Clan, and my opponent is Davis. I think he was about 5 stars and I was 6 stars at the time. Okay, it's a quick overview of my army. I consist of three bow samurai, three yari eye samurai, and three katana samurai, along with a general. And but my favourite cavalry unit, bastards in black, which are light cavalry, along with two of my yari eye cavalry. Not one of them upgraded, just one knight, with two stars to corporal, and then my other's just a standard yari eye. Let's quick look at my opponent's army. He's went for what's seemingly more of a peasant based army with his little Yari Ashigaru and Bo Ashigaru. <laughs> so he's went for the cheaper option as I've went for the more professional samurai style army. There's my general, Hattori Hanzo. Where is he called? Hattori Rai. There's a Tori with his default skin because I think mine's still bugged at the moment. But oh well, there's not much I can do about that. You're probably all wondering why my colour scheme's like grey and everything like that. Because it makes it a lot more difficult for people to see my upgrade. So when I charge into them, <laughs> or whatever, they'll underestimate my forces thinking they're just standard. Alright, let's fast forward this a bit. Just doing a quick sweep of the forest to make sure he hasn't got any hidden cavalry units or anything along those lines, just to make sure my flanks are secure. And then I eventually sweep around onto the cross. And I think I go for those Yari and Bo Ashi Guru. Now I quickly dispatch one of my ba my bastards in black, which are my elite light cav unit into the forest just in case he decides to do a little quick cab rush onto my flank with his light cavalry which are hidden while well, trying to be hidden in the forest over there but he's not clever enough to sort that out I don't think at the moment I think my allies intention was to sweep around the side of the hill and go behind me but it didn't really work because I took defensive position onto the um, cliff which he gave me pretty much open handedly so just quickly fast forward it again And as you can see I started moving my troops off the cliff again now because I'm getting a bit bored of waiting for him and I decided I wanted to engage him instead of sitting there and waiting for him to come. There was this hidden light cavalry. 
but she immediately withdraws because he knows that my Yari I can probably destroy him if I wanted to. But and then I just send my light cav into a side, which I like to do quite a lot as well. Um, if you guys want to name any of my veteran units, you can do, and what I'll do is I'll keep a um, little update thing so you can see where your veteran unit is, what battles it's fought in, and where it's been, so you can keep tabs up onto them. So if you want to name any veteran units of mine or anything like that, just like post a little comment saying Katana and give it a name, and then I'll post updates every say about every two weeks, and I'll tell you where this bit troops has been, what battle it's been in and how many victories or losses or anything along those lines or any battle honours or anything like that <laughs> let me just quickly fast forward here again this is quite a lengthy battle compared to usual because the map's pretty symmetrical so everybody's a bit more of a hesitant to move well, it's life, really. I think I'm just pushing to within range now, so my both Samurai will be able to get off a couple of shots. In response to my archer threat, the um the enemies decided to launch a massive counter attack with all these peasant troops which will get decimated by my bow archers as you can see they're getting pretty hammered at the moment to be honest I'm going to withdraw my archers now back to the cliff up there where they can get a good overlooking view and target and snipe off the peasants when they're engaging my samurai Yeah, I'll just quickly launch my second wave of samurai into the battle now, which should quickly chop the rest of the enemy down, while my archers are just getting little sneaky shots onto them. Which seems to be working a treat. Because now I've locked the enemy into combat and they can't do anything really about it. Because if they pull back, I just wipe out their archers with my cavalry. Or I'll just shoot them with my archers. So all these troops have got the choice to do now is run really. Just taking the left flank with my cavalry as well. And I think I've taken it with my cavalry on the right flank. Well, nearly. I think I dismount my general here and send him into them because I don't want to lose all my um, Yari cav. As well as retargeting my bow samurai to shoot down onto them as well. My enemy retaliates with another group of light cavalry, which my general cuts down pretty quickly because he's pretty much upgraded to the max when it comes to melee stats. What's that? Yeah, my swan knights run because there are what nine men left now. I've just won the left flank with my samurai, so it proves again that peasant armies are nowhere near as good as full-on professional samurai armies. No, his battle's pretty much a land now. That's what my bastards in black light have decided to run there as well. There we go, I think I dismount my um, Hattori Hando now to go in and show off his ninja skills. Yeah, there we are.
My general pretty much routes him instantaneously. Now the rest of the enemy army begins to route now, I think. Because my archer fire power just gets a bit too much for him. And there's the last of their army running. So thank you for watching guys. Please comment, rate and subscribe. If you've got any more advice on how to play or anything like that. Or any tactics, tactics that you want to see done. Please feel free to let me know. Um, thank you very much. And bye.